Hey guys, every once in a while we manage to play tourist. We had to come down to the uh, canal shops at Venetian and visit with a friend and have some lunch. Beautiful day, beautiful hot day in Vegas. And uh, yeah, take a look at the sights, guys. Hey, you could be larger than life. going here. Um, because um, I got so far behind, I wanted to use the... How you doing, man? I just wanted to use the uh, power. Donna, are you there? Yeah, I didn't stop at that stop sign, just so you know. Probably. Anyway, so we're rolling along. This is a great ride in our neighborhood here in Sun City. Um, Gary, we're, fought, we're going, we went with, uh, pardon me, what's his name? Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> I kept saying Gary. Uh, we're riding with our neighbor, Aaron. He's married to Rosie. And he rides his bike all the time. He's got like, I don't know. 33,000 miles or something. What has he got, Donna? 3,300 miles. 3,300 miles. Uh, just riding in our neighborhood, basically. But anyway, we're riding with him, and um, uh, he's taking us on his normal route, which is kind of cool, right? And um, just riding around the neighborhood on a Sunday morning. Uh, people are out doing stuff, which is kind of cool. They're walking and walking their dogs, and very pleasant and even though it's pretty warm right now still because it's uh, Las Vegas in August the end of August but still August um, even though it's pretty warm the good news is is that uh, when you're on the bike you get that nice breeze going and uh, you, it doesn't seem to, to feel as, as hot right so it's pretty cool we're having we're having fun. I tried to rig up my gimbal this morning on my uh, bike so that I would get some good forward-facing shots, and I could not get it to work yet, but I will. Uh, it took what little video I got. It took very smooth and very cool-looking video. Um, so my plan right now is to get a, uh, a front basket for my bike. I didn't want to put a front basket on it, but I think I'm going to have to just, just to facilitate the use of the gimbal and camera equipment and uh, I think it'll be worth it though because I, I'm, I'm hoping to get some really cool video of, uh, of bike rides. There's a lot of, sorry about that, somebody's blowing the leaves out of his yard. Anyway, um, there are a lot of cool trails around here and we haven't even started to explore them yet and uh, we're going to, we're going, we're going to go on some of them. 
apparently we went to Sloan Canyon a while back and there's a there's a video about that uh, I forget what our, what episode number but we went to Sloan Canyon and I didn't know this but my neighbors Mandy and Gary um, not to be confused with Aaron who we're on the bike ride with our neighbors Mandy and Gary let us know last night that they have bike trails out there at Sloan. Sloan was where we tried to hike in and we ended up stopping about halfway through the hike because it was just too long of a hike for us. Um, but it would be cool to ride our bikes out there. Um, so, so the plan right now is to wait for Gary and Mandy to get their bikes and we'll go out there and ride the trails with them. These are all as you know, these are kind of, uh, these are electric that Donna and I ride, and they're basically a, a mountain style bike. They have three inch tires, um, very comfortable ride. And, um, and of course you've got your power, you've got your battery power. And uh, I think on trails like that, that's gonna make all the difference. I think we'll have a blast. The other thing we wanna do, there's a place up here called Red Rock Loop. Uh, you may have heard of it. Hi, how you doing? Good, thank you. If okay, tell me. Um, thank you. Roll on. Okay, so that'll be a major edit. But anyway, um, if you are from this area, you may know of uh, the Red Rock Loop, and um, and we do plan on riding the Red Rock Loop. It's beautiful, and uh, I think that'll be our first big ride once we get our gimbal up and going, just because it's so pretty, and I, I certainly would not want to do uh, self-facing camera work out there. Uh, because I'd want you guys to see how pretty it is because it is just it's just gorgeous and so we'll we'll head up there uh, eventually uh, the goal right now is to get that gimbal up and working properly and then uh, we'll go from there talk to you in a, in a little while hey guys so we bought the electric brand uh, bike lock yes one, we did the one that goes on the bike and it's metal and I wanted to show that to you guys so it mounts right here to the back of the bike and it comes with its own key. So to take it out, you push down on that and lift it up and then it comes straight out of there like that. So let's talk about this. Um, how do I feel about it? Well, first of all, I got it for Carl's bike. Carl does not have the step through. So when you go to try to mount the lock, on these two screws back here, this bar prevents you from being able to get to it. In order to mount the case that the lock sits in, you've got to be able to get those little Allen wrenches and your fingers in there to get it tight. Anyway, it absolutely didn't work. And I was ready to send the lock back. And then Carl mentioned it looked like it would fit on my bike. And so that's what happened. So without the step through bar right there in the way, I was able to get the, the case put on my, on my bike. So I'm still using the lock. I like the lock. I think it's okay. Clearly it's not very long. So wherever you're locking the bike, you don't have a lot of uh, leeway. And then the only other thing that I don't like about the bike is it's a whole nother key, right? So I did put the key with the bike key, and now I just have two keys on there. So I mean, it's not, you know. You know what, and one of our viewers said that uh, you don't really want to leave your extra keys and key hanging from your bike, and we both did that today. Our extra key is on our key ring hanging from our bike. Okay, so I did, I did take my key off, my extra key is now in the house. Oh, okay, so um, what are all of those keys? The, the, there's just, there's just two keys. Okay, those are the bike lock keys. 
both you got both bike lock keys on your bike? I believe that's what I did. Okay, because that way if you lose them, then you simply will not have a key. Right, right. And we didn't leave the bikes anywhere today. Like we didn't stop and go in somewhere and lock them up. So. But we had the keys. So if we would have needed yeah. to unlock them and lock them, we would have been able to, right? But if we lose those keys. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> okay, because they're both together, you know. Right. All right. The other thing is, so I have a cable lock and we also have a kryptonite lock. Um, so we take them all because you never know where you're going to end up or what the situation is going to be for locking them, right? Like, uh, yeah, I don't know what the scenarios are, but uh, the other thing I've got to adjust is my, my light keeps uh, slipping and then I got mirrors. So we got original uh, set of mirrors and the... Hold on just a second. When you said your light keeps slipping, you mean it keeps tilting down, right? Yeah, it keeps oh. doing that on me. Keeps doing what? So he keeps doing that on me. Oh, there you go. Okay. So yeah. I've got to... Uh, so it's like it. a limp wicket. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we got a set of mirrors and the original set of mirrors when it came, one of the brackets of the little screw area was uh, missing its, what is this called? It was missing its, you couldn't screw it into, you're not helping me at all. I don't, what, oh, you were talking to me? Yeah. I was busy working on my camera work here. <laughs> it was missing the part that. The bolt? The screw. The insides to the bolt. The innards. Whatever. Okay. You had a name for it before because that's, I emailed the company. The customer service was awesome. They immediately sent out another pair of mirrors, a, a pair of mirrors, and I only needed the bracket for one. Oh, it was missing the insert that contained the threads. threads. That whole little inside thread that unit was, 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 was gone. For. So you just had an empty hole there. And of course you couldn't screw anything into it. Right. So anyway, they sent a whole new set of mirrors. Of course it came way before our baskets. Our baskets still aren't here, but the mirrors came. And anyway, I put the left-hand mirror on this morning and I love it. For me, it's an absolute go. Uh, it took a little bit of adjusting after I you know, was on the bike so I could get my, my I don't know if I'm gonna use the right one. Um, and Carl thinks that he wants to get the helmet mounted mirror. Yeah, I can't see around my shoulders on, on that. So it's just not, it doesn't hang out. You can see it in the background over Donna's shoulder. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hang out far enough for me. So I have to You're contort lying. my body to see what's behind me, which will probably cause the accident. Instead of worrying about what's behind me, causing the accident. I'll probably do it trying to see what's back there. I saw somebody post that they put the mirror down. So like- Oh, like they hung it under? Mirror, yeah, like it came down here. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the one that goes on your helmet. I don't think you're gonna like that one, but that's okay. Listen guys, thanks for joining us today on the bike ride. And if you have any questions, be sure and post them down below. And don't forget to hit the like button and share and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next week.